hello everyone so today in this video we are going to discuss about few important multiple choice questions related to your modification of mouth parts which part of the mouth is modified in which insect regarding those things few important questions are there those things we'll discuss in this particular video see this dumbbell shaped mandibles are found in which insect okay so the answer will be your what in which insect that is your honeybees adult honeybees okay so the mouth part is your what chewing and lapping type of mouth parts next you see mandibles are absent in which type of mouth part sponging type that means house fly siphoning type that means butterfly or both a and c and chewing and lapping huh, honeybees okay you see it should be a and b okay so the answer will be referred both sponging type and siphoning type in case of housefly also in case of butterfly also what happens mandibles are highly reduced okay so option c will be your right answer next you see right mandibles are absent in which insect okay sponging siphoning rasping chewing so the answer will be what rasping and sucking type of mouth parts the example is what your thrips okay next you see mandible and maxilla are modified into stylets in which insect so you see the sponging type means house fly siphoning type means your butterflies yes or no rasping means thrips and piercing and sucking means mosquito huh? so mandibles and maxilla are modified into stylets in generally what happens both c and d will be there okay in rasping also in piercing also but four number of stylets are present in the piercing and sucking type of mouth parts three number of stylets will be there in the rasping and sucking type of mouth parts okay so one of the options should not be there in the question okay anyway i have kept that one by mistakenly you should know in case of thrips three stylets here four stylets in case of female mosquito your six stylets will be there next you see number of stylets present in box and whale mosquito the answer will be your what option a 4 next you see the number of stylets present in female mosquito the option will be what your 6 actually what happens in box and male mosquito okay two maxillary stylet two mandibular stylet will be there in case of female mosquito what will happen one epipharynx one hypopharynx then your two mandibular two maxillary stylets will be there whole six and here four in case of three what will happen the right mandible is absent so left mandible one plus two maxilla equal to three number of stylets will be there next you see in house fly adults in the adults huh, labium is modified into what the option will be what labellum a sponge like structure will be there yes or no a sponge like structure will be there okay this is what your labellum okay in case of house fly uh, larva maggots that will be known as degenerated type of mouth parts next you see in house fly adults labellum is transferred by a number of transverse channels known as what okay option will be your what pseudo trachea next you see in adult honeybees the food channel is made up of in adult honeybees what happens this is the maxilla yes or no then this is the paraglossa and this is the glossa huh okay so you can say the pair of glossa yes or no huh option c will be your what right answer next you see in honeybee adults a spoon shaped structure present at the end region is known as what that means whatever the glossa is moving at the end a spoon shaped structure will be there this is known as what your flavellum what is that flavellum so option b will be your right answer in adult lepidoptera the food channel is made up of 
pair of mandible, pair of maxillary gallia, glossa none of the above. Option will be pair of maxillary gallia. Two gallia will be enlarged, okay. While under rest, they will be coiled. While under feeding, they will be open outside, okay. In case of adult moths and your butterfly, that is your lepidoptera. In the larval stage, they are biting and chewing type of mouth parts. I hope this video will be informative for you, uh, helpful for you, okay. And if any kind of doubt is there, you can uh, write in the comment box. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. अच्छा सुनो, subscribe करते वक्त ना घंटी बजा देना, ताकि जब मैं online आऊँ, तो तुम्हारे phone की भी घंटी बजे.